And how long has this been going on for? Two, maybe three years? Okay, has he been telling to do anything weird or something that sounds evil? Well, he told me to laugh at my... at Sasha's death. Aha! I knew it! I knew you won't be able to laugh at your fr friend's death! Oh my god, this is like Venom all over again. Except, it's the opposite. Instead of a symbiote, it's a freaking giant golden dragon. And what's King Ghidorah doing in your mind right now? Eh, not doing much. I haven't heard him for the past five months. I was trying to plan on using Zeke to help me wake him up. Okay, well, don't. Okay, just whatever you do, don't. We cannot let that demon wake up. And you said he's been asleep for like five months, sort of? Yeah, five months. Okay, what else he's been making you do? Attack Marley on my own? Won't kill a lot of innocent people? Okay, that is definitely King Ghidorah right there. That is definitely him. Well, how are we going to convince Marley to listen? We don't have to. We need to get King Ghidorah out of Aaron's mind. And show the whole world the true enemy. Do you think that might work? Don't know, but we're gonna have to give it a try. So, we need to start grabbing some supplies. So, Aaron, you go on ahead. We'll drag you back, and we will figure out what we need to do at that point. Well, actually, no, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just take Aaron and get the frick out of here. And try to, to get King Ghidorah out of his mind. Didn't they heard Misa say that Aaron was being manipulated or something? Oh yeah, he's being manipulated, all right, by a goddamn devil. A literal demon that's in his mind. Why do you sound so intense all of a sudden, Junior? It's because that demon that's in your mind fought my, f my father. Wait, he had a bone to pick with your dad? He tried to take my dad's place as the king of the monsters. King of Monsters? Ooh, I actually like that title. Don't you dare try to take it away from me. I swear to God, I will pin you down in a split second. Oh yeah, trap. About one second later, Aaron was already on the ground. Okay, 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 okay. You win, you win, you win. Okay, okay, you win, you win. Don't you forget it. And don't even think about turning into a Titan form. I can easily overpower you, you in your Titan form. Okay, 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 Jesus. All right, all we gotta do is just go to Mothra, get King Ghidorah out of Aaron's mind, and actually, I'll go get Mothra. You guys wait here. All right, good luck, Junior. I'll try. Junior left immediately. When he got to the beach, he turned to his Godzilla form and dived down quickly in the water, heading straight to Infant Island. Araxi and Blue had their own job, now it's to babysit Aaron. So are we okay out here in the open? Oh yeah, we're okay. So, what's the thing between you and Junior, Rexy? She used to have a crush on his dad. 
but his mom kind of beat her to it. And, well, on our island, most of the creatures on our, most of the kaiju and dinosaurs got sick, most of them, and ended up exploding instantly. Including Junior's parents. Then how is he still alive? Well, he was raised by the Kongs. You mean those giant overgrown monkeys? You know about them too? That's because there was a book here about them. Oh. A book? Mm hmm? Tell me all about them and their history with the Godzilla species. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that they'll be willing to take him in. Mainly it was two cons in particular that wanted to take him in. Yeah, they lost their son. So they were kinda actually very thankful that they can have a ch they can still have a chance on having their own son. Even if he's not really related to them. So by adoption then? Mm hmm They try to find someone who can who they can adopt, but they failed several times. Until they found Junior. Well, mainly Lady Kong found him. She didn't really care what he was. She just wanted to be like a mom. She wanted to be a mom. So, it, the result was Junior. They ended up adopting Junior. They ended up loving and caring for him as if they were, he was their own son. Huh. I wish someone did that for me. When my mom died. I guess someone when told you about how I inherited my, to the founding Titan. Yeah, you ate your dad. Who had the founder before you. And they only have like 13 years to live. Yeah, right now I have currently. I think about two years left. So. Yeah. Kinda sucks, to be honest. Knowing that my death is right around the corner. Quite literally. You know, I think Mothra can also fix that for you. Seriously? Mm hmm. Also, are you hearing King Dora yet? Because. No, not really. I'm not hearing a thing. Normally, I'll be able to hear his thoughts. Be able to feel him moving around in my head like it's a weird snake slithering around in my head. That's actually kind of creepy. When you put it out, when you say it out loud, like there's a snake moving around in your head. I know, I just realized that it sounds a lot more creepier when I say it out loud. So, what do you tend to do with King Ghidorah after, well, you get him out of my head? Well, that depends on Junior. It's rather we keep him around. It's rather we keep him and f him and just send him back to the spirit world. Or, or what? We kill him. You can kill him? How? Simple. Mothra does all the work. She's killed spirits before. 
She literally can see the spirit world. Quite literally? Mm hmm. She can bring back the dead, but she can't bring back those that we have lost on our island. It's way too much, and it'll take half her life force. Wow, you're making her sound more like a goddess. Instantly, Aaron felt quiet for a little bit. This got their t this got Rexy and Blue's attention. Aaron, are you okay? Aaron. Then Aaron started moving around a little bit, completely not like his normal self. And then his eyes started to glow. Oh crap, Kingador took over his mind. Aaron, you have to fight it. Fight it. Before Rex can continue, Aaron grabbed at Rexy and slammed her on the and slammed her on the ground. Ah, son of a crap. Okay, well that's it, buddy. Before her blue can attack, Aaron shot lightning out of his mouth. And just like that, Aaron was walking away from the scene. In Aaron's mind, he was trying to... Trying to gain control back, but it was very difficult. Try to resist all you can, Aaron Yeager. But that's not gonna stop me. I'm going to go back to your pathetic walls and convince your Jaegerist to start continually looking for Zeke Jaeger. And after that, that founding time powers is mine. But first, I'm gonna make your friends hate you even more. Don't you dare do something thing weird, or I swear to God. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna make you feel more hated than you are now. And remember, I made you and I have a deal to continue. You think I was gonna let you get away with this? I heard everything. I'm not gonna let Heisei Goji's son put me back in the spirit world or worse, kill me. That stupid moth by his side. You should have avoided me. You should have avoided me a long time ago. Who knows? Maybe Sasha would have been alive right now. You monster. I'm going to make you regret this. Oh, yeah? I'll try. Go on ahead. Aaron tried to move his arms, but he couldn't. He felt like that he was being resisted by his own body. He could even move around. He can only open and close his eyes. That was the only thing that he can really move. For the rest, he just couldn't really move at all. He couldn't even talk. See? I have full control over your body. So resisting me is pointless. So how about you shut up and continue doing what I say. And resist then I might kill one of your friends. Or maybe even worse, I might eat one of them. Make you feel more like a cannibal. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you win. You win. Okay, I'll do what you say. No, I don't really believe you. But I do believe one part that you will do what I say. Not fully, but... You know.